Today we are driving this truck. First time that I'm driving it. Actually, I just drove it here on my um, on my driveway a little bit back and forth. So I haven't driven a truck for 20 years. I hope it's going well. But yeah, I I wasn't that bad back then. So I'm 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 thinking it will go well. So I installed a little camera inside so you 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 can um, drive with me to that facility, the inspection facility. That is an inspection facility uh, or a diesel repair shop. They are government certif certified and they can do trucks uh, above uh, 17,000 po uh, pounds. Right, that's a, that's a requirement for this size of truck. Uh, there's other repair shops, they can do the same uh, service but uh, they are limited to 17, is it 17 or 17 and a half thousand pounds? So, yeah, there is on the ICBC um, webpage, there is uh, a list of all these uh, service points. They can do this um, official inspection, basically, which allows you to injure your truck after you pass that inspection. But it needs to be done after you imported your truck. Okay, so therefore to go there, you cannot injure it nor register it, um, but you can apply for a permit, which I have here. That's a temporary permit for one day, basically called A to B permit. It allows me to drive from my home to the in, uh, inspection facility and back, right after, if it is on the same day, because um, it's visible here. You see, it's effective and expires on the same day. So if this, uh, for some reason, it, it takes longer uh, than this day, then you have to apply for a new permit. Okay, it's not that expensive. It costs 19 bucks um, in Canada. I'm always talking about inspection in Canada, right? I don't know how it is in the States uh, or in Mexico. But, yeah, in Canada. So, that's for now. And uh, I will fire up the GoPro inside if we start. Fire it up. So a transformation means um, we take it off the utility box in the back.
there. Officially inspected. So we are. We have the paperwork. The inspection went through, and uh, now we go into ICBC and register this track in British Columbia, Canada. So then, is it officially in the country? Officially in BC, and we're good to go. Can insure it and then drive it back and forth. And the actual work can begin. That's what I'm looking for. That's what took us almost seven months now. Throughout the pandemic now, it was a challenge to ship the truck. Um, but uh, it's here now and we, we are through it. So the first three videos I made is all about importing uh, and, and getting it ready for inspection and uh, um, a few a few points what you need to do if there is interest from you guys if somebody want to do the same thing bring in a truck from Europe um, then I would make another video about all the necessary paperwork because you have to you have to have all your stuff in in order basically there is um, customs there is translations uh, translate oh Jesus translations <laughs> Um, bill of sales and uh, yada yada this uh, releasing papers and this and that so I would um, make an extra video about that not too long just uh, the main points which you need to know um, to have your paperwork in order because there is thousand ways to make it wrong you know but theoretically only one way to make it right right so I would appreciate if somebody gives me a heads up uh, I don't know what about you guys uh, let me know in the comments down below um, if you're interested to see a video like that. You know, also what I would do is basically show you what web pages you should look up in Europe to find a track like that. There is a few of them, um, and I would give you an advice on that. So yeah, let me know if you're interested in it. Please like and subscribe to my channel. I would appreciate that. You know and. In our case, the work can begin. Now we can really work on this truck, on, on our dream to get this expedition truck going.